In just seven months, Hawaii will have two saints who devoted their lives to the poor and disease in the islands. KITV Force Pamela Young reports on how the reverence for Blessed Mother Marianne is being expressed in art. It's a delicate operation, but UH artist Karen Lucas, Big Island builder Joe Chang, and sister Dorothy Santos are up for the challenge. Placing a mosaic of several thousand tiles into a frame is the last step before unveiling the face of a saint. This is so for real. It's, it's praising the Lord in a different way in, in art. Mother Mary Ann has really become part of me now, and I, I felt a great privilege working with Mother Mary Ann. Tucked away amid the tiles, a wooden cross made from an ironwood tree near Mother Mary Ann's gravesite in Kalawao. After her remains were exhumed and sent to Syracuse, New York in 2005, the tree fell. They were cutting it up to haul it to the dump, and I thought, man, that wood, that tree was nourished by Mother Mary Ann's body. So she salvaged the wood and made crosses. The Blessed Mary Ann art and a new St. Damien mosaic are labors of love from volunteer hands and donated materials. Sister Dorothy says the two 19th century saints inspire us to overcome 21st century challenges. We need good examples in order to remain faithful and to improve in ourselves. The two mosaics are scheduled to be installed in the soon-to-be-built St. Damien, St. Marianne Museum and St. Augustine's in Waikiki. Pamela Young, KITV4 News. The Mother Marianne canonization is October 21st, the Vatican, KITV4, the Vatican. KITV4 will be there to bring you the story straight from St. Peter's